Hey, hey, Dylan here with Insane Audio. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your OBD2 adapter with your head unit and with the Torque app so you can get awesome live engine data directly from your car's ECU in your dashboard. So first we're going to take the OBD adapter and plug it into your car's ECU port which is usually located below and to the left of your steering wheel. And you should see a red light once you plug that in, meaning the adapter is getting power. Next, we're going to open up your Bluetooth app, which you can find in your apps list, which is in alphabetical order. And I've also put it here on the home screen. Then you're going to tap the search button. And in this case, it looks like there's already been an adapter and a phone pair. So I'm going to go ahead and delete both of these paired devices and start fresh. And then hit the search icon. If your OBD adapter doesn't show up in the available devices list the first time you hit the search button go ahead and tap it again sometimes it can take a couple tries before it shows up in the list of available devices um, if you're still having trouble getting it to show up there's a couple more steps i can go over with in just a moment but for now we're going to proceed with pairing this adapter so select the obd2 and tap the pair button takes a few seconds and then you see it move up to the list of pair devices. Next we're going to go over to the Torque app. And if it doesn't connect right away, not to worry. Go ahead and swipe down from the top. Hit the back button, hit the settings, settings again. Go to OBD2 adapter settings and choose Bluetooth device. Then select that from the list. And then back out of the settings menu. And what we want to see is a filled in blue OBD icon there in the status bar. And we're still not getting that. So next we're going to go ahead and quit torque. Oh, actually I'm getting a green light now. So it paired just before I quit. And you can tell that by this filled in blue OBD icon there in the status bar. Now if we go over to real time information, Torque is connected to the OBD adapter, but we're not getting any data because we're just doing this on the test bench right now. Um, if for some reason it didn't actually pair with torque, you want to go ahead and quit torque and then do a system reset, which you can do by going into IA Utility and tapping the top right menu button and then reboot. One more tip I wanted to share with you. If you're having a hard time getting the Bluetooth app to display the OBD adapter in the list of available devices when you hit that search icon, you can try tapping the search icon and then plugging the adapter in after you've hit that icon. And sometimes that will help a stubborn adapter show up in the list of available devices. And that is how to pair your OBD2 adapter with your head unit and with Torque. Thanks for watching.